So niggas sold drugs in the rain with you. We to the dog to the cane with you. Survived in the cage from a raid with you. You made it, but you did to get you. Burning in the hell, you ain't bitch you. Ain't bitch you, ain't bitch you. Motherfucker, I am not playing with you. Every time I see you, I'm a train with you. Stop shit, I can shoot the fade with you. <laughs> hey, bitch, move. Nigga, you mad cause they ain't with you. I ain't in the VIP, try to hang with you. And I ain't come here to be friends with you. Nah. Star. Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. How you doing, Zenoff? I'm doing, I'm doing excellent, especially right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. it's it's the it's the three year anniversary. Three year anniversary, uh, right? I'm super excited to be in the motherfucking building. You know, I fuck with M and Me the long way. How they say, and, and my Memphis niggas say, I fuck with you the long way. You know what I mean? Okay. It's an honor, yo. Definitely an honor for you to be on. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, three years. So you guys have been rocking with us from the beginning. Yes, yeah, definitely. You know, um, definitely, man. We went through a few mixtapes already. To, I had to we get you on. We went through a few projects already. You're yeah. welcome. You're welcome, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah uh, your joint. Um, You're bringing me back right now. Yeah. I, I, I trip out when I think about the whole, you know, it's BM, <clears throat> M and me relationship. Like, shit crazy. Like, niggas been, y'all niggas been rolling, man. For real. The ladies over here crushing. Yeah. You know, you that know, M and me movement is big to me. It's been big. It, from the first <laughs> time I laid my eyes on it, it was a big situation. You know what I mean? Real Thank shit. you. No, definitely. definitely. And, um, you got the CEO of MME Radio right here. Couldn't, no, you know what I'm saying? This wouldn't happen right. without Cyber Narcotics either. Shout yeah, out to yeah, him. Right now. He probably, like, I call him Mr. Feeney. Like, he probably looking over the fence right now. Like, um. Mr. Feeney, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Home improvement. <laughs> Cyber is a motherfucker. You yeah. hear me, nigga? But, um, yeah. yeah, man, shout out to everybody in the Republic, man. It, 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 this is one big movement, and you know what I'm saying? Everything just keeps getting... Imagine three years strong, you know what I'm it's saying? It's crazy, man. Yeah. It's Seeing crazy. people come and go. Yes, sir. People come back, yes, you know? Um, shout out to everybody else. Event level, of course, is being radio.com, batting ENT radio, uh, 
Hatchet Radio, I think. Yeah. Um, NYS, uh, NYCS, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Taz by Taz Radio. There's so many joints, yeah. man. How you remember all that shit? How right? How you remember all that shit? Like, um, there's one more. Um, sh- trying to tell niggas, man. How LBC, man. My fuckers is so dot com heavy. You just gotta be like Indie Republic sometimes, cause. You know, saying all these motherfucking names, that should be crazy. But we out here. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what you heard? I, I actually heard there's a mixtape in the works. Yeah, that World War Z, man. You know what I mean? Um, I stay. It's so crazy, man, because I'm sitting on like probably four or five collectors' items, mixtapes that we never dropped. Because I kind of let Frankie do what he do. You feel me? Okay. Um, I'm always caught up in my zone. Like, I live this music shit. So it's like never a time when I'm turned off. So it's like I have so many huge bodies of work. And Bad Lungs thing was like, yo, you gotta release these shits. And I'm like, man, fuck a mixtape. Like, I do them shits as rehearsal, I guess. Like, just therapy. Like, sometimes I just do mixtape joints for me to listen to. Like, fuck it. But um, when the movie World War Z came out, I was always saying, man, it's World War Z to niggas when niggas, you know, that was always my shit, you know what I mean? And uh, when the movie came out, I was like, ah, you know, I'm gonna drop this mixtape. And then again, I got slighted because the Miss LB Management Volume 2 dropped. Ooh. Okay. Two weeks before that, Bad Lungs dropped the Herbalife. Oh, then shout Car- out to Bad Lungs. I was gonna drop on the 4th. Shout out to Carlimo the Don, North Carolina. He dropped his joint. Mm-hmm. And then a week later on our birthday, twin uh, Jones for Rico Giovanni dropped his joint. So it was like kind of like every time I was about to, you know, like here, like mm-hmm. you can't, you know, you can't have that conflict of interest because I don't want nobody to think we out here challenging. You know what I mean? Like who got the most numbers that day? Because we don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? This music is for the people. But World War Z is on its way. Dealing with a... F- Dealing with the fan in the mirror album is coming. Epic as fuck, I might add. You know what I mean? Hip hop, rock, soul, funk, house, pop. You know what I mean? I'm out here on my shit. So, okay. um, so tell us more about this about this movie thing that uh, that that we've been hearing about. Ah oh, man, shout out to uh, director Jamal Hall. Living with no regrets. Funny story, right? Um. Had Jay Paris on the TNT show. He was talking about the uh, Zoo the movie. Mm-hmm. Then he mentioned Living with No Regrets, and I'm like, Yeah, you know my man Jamal Hall shooting the joint. Yada yada yada. So the movie had been done before. Me and me and Bad Lungs actually, um, they created a role for me to play quick, like a, a promoter. But um, actually, I have like eight joints on the score throughout the movie. It's an incredible movie. Like, what's you your character's name on the movie? My my character name is Cool Daddy. Cool Daddy, saying? okay. Um, being that it was a promoter, Ooh. shout out to Cool Daddy, the party okay. king cool from Daddy. my city. Uh, so when they told me I was playing a promoter, I was like, yeah, my name gonna be Cool Daddy. You know what I'm saying? But by the time okay. they cut up the scenes, you know, you know how that movie shit go. It's crazy. Okay, it's cool you know? though. So everybody. Tune in to make sure to check them out. Check out that Living With No Regrets uh, featuring Trex. And where could you, uh, where could you see this? Tribeca type? Uh, they're hitting all the film festivals, I believe. Right now, they're doing like a tour thing. It's, it's, it's an ill situation because with independent films, they don't let you get in the box office. So you kind of got to do like an independent rapper and go to these venues and uh, re- join out like you're doing a show. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the people who came out to uh, Jersey Gardens Mall. They had like 1,600. I was kind of disappointed last night. And Patterson they ain't really turn up. And you know that's the hometown, but yes, sir. Shout out to yeah. the using the building. Where was this? Um, at the uh, Fabian Theater. At, uh, oh, okay. You know, Center City Mall. Yeah. But uh, you know, shout out to the people who really came out. Jersey Gardens. It was sixteen hundred people mm-hmm. coming to the movie, like two sold out shows. Nice. All right. CD, so it was crazy. But definitely well, look out for the. Check it film. out. Okay. So um. What's next? Are we gonna see you in more in more movies? Yes, sir. Uh, the Would You Know film. If if you've been following the Boys Eating Up Star, I've been filming. I had the lead. I have the leading role in this movie called Would You Know. I play a character called Isaac. It's a movie about the Illuminati. It's real stupid. <clears throat> um, okay. So I play like a Shaft Nino Brown ass nigga, man. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? I'm ten. I'm ten. <laughs> I'm ten up bishops and popes slapping people up. All kinds of shit. It's crazy. But it's called Would You Know. You can check for that probably a little bit later this year. But um. That's the next move, and then striving. I also have like a huge role in the movie Striving, which is a music uh, musical movie basically that Jamal Hall written and directed, and a couple other shorts. So you're gonna see a lot of me in that in that realm, right? There. Hold on, real okay. quick, we got a quick phone call. Now, who 
this on the line, man. State Calling your name, gangster. Shit, Where you from, gangster? Yo, yo, yo. What up, though? <laughs> what up, man? What's going on, What's Mr. Good? Mr. Bad Lungs? Yeah, Frankie Bad Lungs in the building. A.K. A.K. Que lo que. Uh, que lo FB que lo don't lo stand lo for Facebook. AK, <laughs> as is no one, AK, uh, que lo que. Uh, What's going on, yeah, homie? Man, what up, man? Sound like y'all having mad fun up there. Yes, we are. We're having a great time here. Yeah, we got. We got it the, is turn up for a three year anniversary. We got the Herbalife on deck, you know what I'm saying? Pumping <laughs> pump pump to that sound. Um, you know what I'm saying? Pump it oh, to that last right. sound of, of the herbal life. Hey man, we know you on the road. I told Lou and them you couldn't be here. You upstate New York doing what you doing on the on the music tip. I'm hearing the trains and shit like that's you dope though. Headed back home or what, man? We appreciate the love though. Yeah, no, nah, I'm out. I was actually smoking the bowl right now, and the trains just came through. All right, so, you, you know. You hear me? Nah, that, nah, nah, that girl. Yo, man, listen, man. Like, yo, say your peace to the peoples, man, because you up in here taking up my time and shit. Man. Oh, you know nah. What I'm <laughs> yeah. Frankie saying, Bad Lines, yo. Shit. Friend to the room, uh, I wanna, bro. I want to pick up your time. <laughs> <laughs> yo, everything nah, ain't going this bitch. I just want everybody to get that herbal life, and you don't know. Now you know. Of yeah. course, and of you course. Get that uh, video will be coming so soon, sooner than sooner than soon. Uh, Lost on the highway, you know what I'm saying? Directed by Jamal Hall and uh Yeah, man, that's it man. You know what I'm saying? Rico Giovanni over over my botty and all that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They all G'd up from the feet up. And okay. uh I just calling in to congratulate y'all on the on the on the longevity of your anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Four years now. Three years. Three, three years, years, three man. years. Three, three. Yeah. Can't you know have saying? Y'all been you very, very helpful and pivotal in my career as far as music goes so mm, say that again man so can we ain't hear you radio, say, that, man. say that again man I said I said <laughs> you <they all, laughs> hear me y'all, y'all, y'all been always y'all, well, y'all, y'all pivotal in my career thank you so much music wise y'all, y'all, y'all was one of the first indie republic in general you feel me but MME radio was one of the first radio stations that showed me love heavy you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I always, I always, I'm always loyal to that. that. FB, you know, I got love for you from back in the day, so you're mm-hmm. so good. Yeah, know you from man. from high school days and shit, so. Chill, chill. you making me well, jealous. Already, you know. No, nah, I'm just saying. <laughs> so yes. I always, always got love for him, so I appreciate always the love. Um, Thank you for calling in. Word, man. Y'all do y'all thing enough. What up? I'll see you in a minute. Grace, love you. Keep okay. doing your thing. Lou, we got burn one. You know what I'm saying? I'm back in action. You hear me? <laughs> hey, fuck. Yeah. Listen, y'all man. Do, my... Y'all do what y'all do, man. Look at that herbal life, man. Listen, man. My pocket's heavy, man. Get back in the city. Yo. Let's do something, man. Yo, um... I'm in my debut right, too, man. so yo, if you need me for videos, you know what I'm saying. I, I played my <laughs> boss. He has a debut, debut already. He can act now. You know what I'm saying. My boss is whatever you want. Security guard, you know. Lose, lose in it. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I got you, homie. Well, he wants the role. We gonna do something. We gonna do something real soon. All right. You know what I mean, that's Frankie Badlands. Like I said, yes. um, thank you so just much. Just go to MME Radio, in. go to mixtapes, and you can download his Dat yeah. Piff. Herbal life. Okay. All up. All right. Yes, sir. And of course, um, Zena, if you go way back with Frankie Badlands too, so. Yeah, that's my baby, bro. You know what I mean? I raise him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, you it's, guys are like it's, two it, peas in a yeah, pod. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's it feel good to see um my youth out here doing what they do, man. When I look at Rico G Badlands, like, you know, niggas is making noise. You know what I'm saying? And uh, to to know that I had a part in that shit, you know what I mean? That's everything. That's great. I mean, you were definitely influential in um, the hip hop game or this area, especially. I mean, can nobody forget about the eight to eight to skaters yeah, world? I mean, see that. you know you're responsible for that, so yeah. you're definitely a legend we for that. Kids, you feel me? That's right. We was doing that Russell Simmons show. We was little as yeah, hell. Yeah, and 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 I don't know how people got away with it, yeah. but it was awesome, and you were pivotal in that, obviously. So. Captain's hat in that seat. Like I drove that plane. That's right. Fuck it. Let's turn up. Yes. Yeah. That was awesome. That's why, you know, not for nothing. That's why I get so excited when uh, I was excited when you called because P 
people don't, their careers don't last long in these situations. People think they want to do shit like this and don't know, like, this shit has to become your life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is your life. There is there is nothing else. It's always M and me. Like, it has to be in order for it to be successful. That's and you right. guys have proven that, so... I would take my hat off, but it's too motherfucking fly, and I'm sweating. Ah. Be too cool, because I'm sitting next to you. God okay, damn. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> in this bitch, man. You already, you already know. In the Republic, man. Um, What else you got in the works? Movies? Oh, man, like I said, um... What else? The Blur Lines, you know. Blur remix. Lines remix. You don't know, yo, what's crazy is this, right? Okay. I started getting all this crazy fire uh, off the Blur Lines remix, and then they start going into this beef with Marvin Gaye family, and, and mm-hmm. you know, they kind of pulling the joint, period. From, yeah. Uh, from Clear Channel and all that. But shout out to DJ AP NRC. Shout out to all the major DJs in America, UK, Japan, who's played the Blur Line remix. I mean, I get emails all the time, like, thank you, lad, and big up yourself and you know it okay. feels good but that's great the record's remarkable man and, uh, that you know, is you great so how did you um actually get into that like what made, what made you remix that track um, i mean it's a definitely a dope track everybody knows we gotta love the robin thick blur if, lines track if, if people don't not are, are not familiar with dj ap he probably has over 200 break beat and remix uh records on AVA records big buds big beats all that the real djs djs know these records they play them all the time we jam to them shits in the club and you think it's the dj up there doing his thing so okay he's one of those remix kings and he reached out to me like z i gotta have you on the remix like he felt like it was that time to um exploit me again because when i was getting exploited real young in the game uh people just wasn't getting that 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 wasn't what was popular in hip-hop so mm-hmm. No, I've had 17 years old. I had like the number one joint on. Uh, I said this on the I Talk Sports joint going in with them brothers, like, you know, shameless plug, but this is a family thing. Um, you know, I had so many remixes out, like Let It Go when Jaheen was at the top of the charts. With um, when he first came on the scene, he probably was like 30 weeks on the charts. I had like the only remix that was out with him. And a lot of people records this went over their head back then. I was going as uh, Shows Nuff. You know, okay. a lot of people didn't make that transition, but I got so many import records out, so it was back to the remix game. Okay. You know what I mean? That's so, we're going to stay tuned for more remixes. Yes, indeed. Okay, Before nice. Before the album comes. You know all right, I mean? all right. Cool, cool. Uh, so, uh, we're definitely going to play a little game with you, so you got the um, options right in front of you. Oh, uh, you see, um, I'm living this herbal life tonight, so excuse me if I stumble. It's okay, it's okay. So, you got the options in front of you, okay? Hold so, on, we're going to ask on, you a few hold questions. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold really, on. Really, I'm supposed to be like five for five in this situation. But what had happened is the way my account is set up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, man, I, fuck, I told you it was, you know, I was so uh, gone off the herbal life. I thought I seen a deer, bro, when I went outside. You know what I mean? All right. All the blood. Oh, Are we quick, ready? Yeah. Real quick, this is a crazy story. Um. <laughs> Man, Z put this album up, right? Yeah. And you know, a lot of people don't probably didn't know what the album was, but it was Midnight Marauders. You know what I'm That's saying? Right. Favorite That's joint. You know what I'm right. saying? One of my favorite joints. So I thought I had it. I went bananas looking for this yeah. fucking album, yeah. y'all. So I'm on the hunt right now. Yeah. Looking for Midnight Marauders. So if you have so that, guys, events, I might hit Lou up. It's your anniversary. I might just give it to him. Oh, that would be know nice. Know I no, I'll might. find it. I'll find it. I'll find that it. Man. I gotta nice. buy that, that again. Nice. Chop fanatic, though. You know. So then, I had to hit him with the beat. All right. I love it, though. So are we ready? Are we ready for Let's the go. for the five questions? I'm about to spread my shit out. I ain't finna go shuffling. I'm too All cool right. to shuffle. Okay. You know what I'm saying I'm spreading my shit out. Which show comes on Tuesday nights before the came on Tuesday nights before the Sexaholics? Oh. Tuesday nights. You get to win some tickets too. No. Tuesday nights. You know what I was probably doing? That's kind of early, though, girl. Mm-hmm. Before the joint? That's Before kinda... the sexaholics. Sexaholics, like 10, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm going to take a guess and say, um, I'm going to say up and out. All right. Ring the bell, Lou. Oh, oh, oh. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. All right. You got that. You got that. All right, so next, on which show did we learn all about the weird characteristics dolphins have? Dolphins? Mm-hmm. Oh, 
dolphins have. I was, I, yo, what's crazy? I was in the building for that. I believe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say get focus. Get focus. Yay, you got that. Hey, you got whoa, that. Whoa, listen, hold up. Ring the bell, ring the bell, ring the bell. Hold up. Hold up. Whoa, I think the people in the building are a little tight. They think I'm cheating. A little no, bit. no, no. He's doing good. He's doing good. All right. Which show comes on Friday nights? Friday night. Then you know where I'll be at Friday nights. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah see. Oh. Hmm. This ain't what can just to get we this ain't nothing I said yet, right? Mm-mm. All right. Mm-mm. 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 I'm gonna go with the warehouse. No. Yeah. So that's one wrong, one wrong. So you still he said four out of five before, so you got one wrong. So one more wrong and then I'm you don't perspirate. Is that a word? I, Is that a word? I, I got the last question too. Is that a word? Okay. This four? That was three. That was three. See, I three. wish she really liked me because she would tap me like on my foot or something like two times me. This yeah, one. You ready, AJ? Yes. Okay. So. Who ain't gonna bless me? He ain't gonna help me. Um, which show would you learn about hair? True. That would have to be some shit with like the ladies is on first and foremost because I would hope. You know what I'm saying? The bro wasn't over here talking about hair on some shit. Um, damn. I mean, I heard a lot of interesting topics on the, um, the Sexaholic show. But um, What was the question again? Which show would you <laughs> learn about hair? Learn about hair? Why? Right. Yo, man. I'm going to give you one question. Just look at the word. Oh, the warehouse. He gave you a hand. The very good. The warehouse. Ding, 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 ding. So, Lou, you got one more question you want to ask, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm about to get some free tickets, mama. One more, one more. Shit. Drum roll. All right. Hold on. Damn, he about to hit me with some bush. At least this ain't like the Whopper Chopper. The House of the Wampers. Shout out to them niggas, man. Them niggas wild as hell. You ever been on that show? No. Oh, that shit's crazy. Last question, last question. Ready? Ready, man. What show included That's the a drums, blonde so chick, a blonde girl that wasn't from our state? <laughs> That's a hard one. Damn, it is. Cause I don't That's know. extremely hard. <laughs> <laughs> Set him up. Dead <laughs> word. Let's see. Let's see if he gets it. Yeah, that's crazy, Lou. Cause I don't, you know. Damn. Cause if ain't blondie, I don't really, you know. Yeah. Ooh. I think it was, man. Like he hit me. See, he don't want me to get no. No, there really was. There really was a girl that was not from our that state. I was only getting focused, so. But it it was very like very short lived. No, definitely. It definitely That's why not that. it was definitely not the get focus show. So are you giving him another try, or that's yeah, it? Uh, okay. It ain't this. I want to keep the Damn. I'm gonna say um, the up and out, man. No, nah. and it was a sexaholic show. See, wow. yeah. She was very short lived. Don't remember what was Don't. her name. La Rubia. La she Rubia. was a short girl. Right? Short girl, yeah. Damn, y'all see her win because she was short. Yep. Damn. Still didn't get it, but all right. So <laughs> thank you so much. Obviously, you guys did all did great. So we're about to um get into the G report real quick where we're gonna talk about some gossip, celebrity gossip. Um, as long as I can sit next to you on yo, Lou, how you do it, man? So many beautiful women at MME. How the fuck you do it, man? I don't know, man. This shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't even got know. control. Miss LB got that high school pussy. I'll be under pressure over there. Oh my God. At the trap. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Yo, real quick, shout out to Miss LB. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, Big Blue, what the fuck? Um, shout out to Miss LB, man. She's definitely uh you know what I'm saying, intense. <laughs> <laughs> She's sober intense now though. Yeah. When she was intense. getting when she was getting live, nigga. Nah, nah. Yeah, I love Miss LB, man. She's definitely a good person, man. She definitely showed a lot of love to the movement too. You know what I'm saying? Um you know, like I said, we're from the same family, so you, you already know. So we know, man. You already know. 
So um, let's go with some gossip. Let's go with some gossip. Um, so how do you guys feel about the game? Um, he's got his latest tattoo is a tribute to Trayvon Martin, where he has got a, a figure of his face on his leg. Um, rapper game, you know his uh, original name is J.C. On Terrell Taylor. So um, he basically has a picture of Trayvon Martin in a hoodie mm. on his leg. How do you think? I mean, what do you feel about that? He said it took seven hours to complete. Um, no, of course, uh, of course, a portrait takes a portrait takes a lot, but go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Mr. D. No, what's your what's your whole take on on, I think, on, this? I on think, him getting a tattoo of Trayvon Martin? I think the tattoo is, uh, you know, it's dope. I just think any man with tattoos on his leg, I don't see no purpose. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he, I guess he, he doesn't really have that much space to tattoo, so I yeah, can understand sure. why it was on the leg. But I'm just saying the whole idea of him putting on a tattoo of a yeah, face, you know, that's yeah, not yeah. like that's a big statement. Like, right. you're not just standing by and saying, you know, I wish Trayvon Martin was here. No, you're like really like, you know, you're putting yeah. his picture on his leg on your leg. So. I, think, I think it's really dope, man. You know, that's not, that's my only thing. Like, okay. I don't, you know, any dude with tattoos on his leg. Now, unless you got your whole body done, mm -hmm. I don't see why you would put, okay. you know, a tattoo on your All right. Um, so, Lady Gaga um, has issued a statement about her feud with Perez Hilton. So, basically, you know, he was, like, talking a little bit about her, saying that her new song really wasn't that great, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, she actually tweeted, um, stay... Um, he he actually then went and tried to get an apartment happened to be in the same building that she lived wow. but it really had nothing to do with her but she went on Twitter and said stay away from me my family you are sick trying to rent an apartment in my building to stalk me leave me alone uh, do I need to be shot in the head for people to understand that him and everyone else that harasses me has gone too far I'm a human being um, that was a very big statement um, because now uh, her little fans, which are known as monsters, definitely are monsters yeah. because the stuff that they were saying on Twitter to Perez Hilton was horrible. They were like hashtagging Operation Kill the Pig and they wow. were telling him to commit suicide and even threatened to kidnap his brand new baby boy. Wow. First of all, why does Perez Hilton have a baby boy? Um, he does. He, he has he a son. He adopted a son. Wow. That's correct. You know, I mean... Yeah. Smack. Yeah, he adopted a son, so now and people were like talking about like kidnapping yeah. his son. Like that's horrible. Um, I don't think I don't think a, a single who, who, you know gay who was actually have after him again. Right? I mean, he, he, he has a lot of money, somebody. so why not? He, he can take he care of the baby. He was with somebody, right? Before yeah. um, he was beefing with um, Will I Am from Will Black I Am. Yeah, yeah. I heard Will I Am bust him in the shit though. Yeah, I heard Chipped too. That's right. Yeah. Chipped him out. That nigga from LA, man. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> Chipped him out. <laughs> But um, I think uh, no, but go ahead, Luke. That shit must have been crazy when Will I Am rolled up on him. He probably, or, he, he I heard probably did he a couple dance steps. Cause he said he was a faggot, so he did some shit like. He probably yeah. did a couple dance steps and Smack. just and right. smacked them. That's right. I get two so. piece in the spin and up the. With with auto tunes uh, on auto tunes. Wow. I mean, you know what I hate? I I love I love beautiful hosts like yourself and 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 the boy Groovy Lou, but I hate bloggers like. Gossip is one thing, but like he's to me, he's like the type of person that was chasing behind Prince Diana and when she bought. Oh, she like up. paparazzi, you think? Yeah, he, he, I mean, but I, I feel like he bigs up yeah, a lot of people a lot. He he definitely, I get what you're saying though, because they yeah. do be on media all day long, like blogging and just they get a little bit extreme sometimes. But you know, because we're not here to destroy people. Lives. No, we're definitely not. We're not. We're not. So hold on, hold on, real quick. Oh, enough star. Before I get out of here, I just want to make mention of something. Just because you was a little off or something, and, and, and I got respect because we talked about That's you up. and your history for Patterson. That's up. I love Cool. Say Cool's that. a great guy. I love Say Cool that. and all that. But All Wise Entertainment, we were the ones who brought you Charlemagne to the hood first. <laughs> we that. we did bring you Charlemagne to the hood first. We brought you Carl Thomas. We brought yeah. you Styles. Yeah. I do. I put my bid in. That's All up. Wise Entertainment, That's know up. how big, bro. Yes, we sir. haven't beat a party king. Oh, yeah. Keisha yes, Cole, we brought yes, Keisha Cole to the yes, hood sir. first. Listen, that's all all wise entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Remember that though. Another this, down the hill this, thing. This, the self proclaimed like his name is cool. The party king. I know. King I know now. he that's calls himself you know, that, and I, and I love cool. Yes, I, I, I love yes, cool, yes, but yes, that needed to be mentioned. Yes, sir. <laughs> needed to be mentioned. <laughs> yes, sir. Gyroscope. I'm gone, all man. Right. Yes, sir. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for tuning. Of course. Easy on them, brother. Love y'all, brothers, man. You already know them. Thank you. Thank you. You already know. Um, on August eighth. 
uh, workers were called to Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Lopez home in South Hampton, New York, in regards to a suspicious male on the property. So uh, there seemed to be a man named John Dubais, a 49-year-old man from Rhode Island, wow. who was basically like living in her pool house uh, for like a week, Squire. and nobody even knew. J Lo didn't know nobody. So um, yeah, so he was arrested and charged with two felonies: burglary, criminal contempt, and two misdemeanor stalking and possession of burglary tools. Whoa! Crazy. Yeah, crazy. Shout, that, shout out my son King Tut. That was his birthday, August eighth. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Shout out to him. That's crazy though. I think that's wow. Mhm. How so, the fuck did he get in there? Yeah, he just. I mean, burglary she tools. J Lo. She should have been that shit. As soon as he stepped on the property, he should have got. Right. A yeah, it's true. Right? It's crazy. Fucking, you know what I'm saying, Lou? Um, that's all I'm saying. Anybody seen the last uh, Wild and Out show? No. no? Okay. Well, so. I'm not going more. Um, actually, it was, um, I think it was Amari Stoudemire was the one on the episode. But basically, what was so crazy about it was that, um, so he was doing one of his skits where he was supposed to, like, run game on a female and come up with, like, a quick little, um, pickup line that was funny. And Mariah Carey, um, you know, obviously his wife, uh, basically just walked herself on stage and she made it very clear that she would shut the whole shit down. Damn she repeated man. it three times. She said, I will shut this shit down. Basically, he never had the pickup line. Okay, just so you know that the pickup line was never set. So Mariah Carey went in there and said, who was boss? Wow, that's yeah, crazy. that was pretty funny. Um, Miguel, you guys like Miguel? Love Miguel. Me Mr. too. Mike I love Trump. Miguel. Um, Mr. Leg Drop, that's right. I love Miguel. But unfortunately, you know, he hasn't been having that much luck lately. And um, he was picked up and pulled over by the police in Cali and basically arrested for a DUI. Um, he was driving his 2013 BMW X6. He was speeding and he had tinted windows on the LA freeway. So on August 15th, uh, the cops stopped him and smelled liquor, and he was definitely bombed. Uh, he blew a .10, .11 on the Damn, breathalyzer, which is .08 legal limit in California. That's heavy. That's heavy. Yeah, so he was eventually um, booked and released on a $5,000 bail. He is scheduled to appear in court in September. You think he was stressed out? That's why he's drinking that much? Two chains. I don't know. I mean, he was again. partying. Yeah, of course. Um, I was about to get into that, too. Um, so before we get into the two chains uh the premier basketball wives um was on last monday so evan Laz lazada uh finally like you got to hear her on the inside scoop and speaking out about the whole domestic violence situation she went through with ocho um so obviously everybody knows that he was arrested and um booked for charge and lost his job uh no longer is an nfl player because of stupid issue that he had and basically had butted Evelyn Lozada so she talks about the whole night and she does say that um, you know she talks with her friends about how she found the condom wrapper and a receipt for the condoms and it was only three weeks after their marriage so she admitted that she yelled at him but she denied ever hitting him in the car so the reality star she called her ex-husband ex a liar because he actually claimed that it was self-defense originally so she said she had never put her hands on him um, but do you believe that? Um, it's possible and not possible. Yeah. I mean, just because I know Latin women. Yeah, and you're right. So, but I, I also her. know some women that are like love and, and would do anything for the man that they would uh, never hit him. So then I feel like yeah. she might have been that one. Like she was so strung out on him that yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe, I just you know, feel, I think I think he made a mistake. You know, what I mean, and, and sometimes when you are a celebrity, some shit get publicized that maybe shouldn't. So the publication of it makes the situation even mm -hmm. more than it was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, how do you guys feel about uh, Scott Storch? He was robbed at gunpoint in Times hard, Square though. at like 6.45 in the morning. Um, you know, so the, the producer filed the police report stating that he was leaving the New York Palace Hotel on Madison Avenue, 6.45 in the morning, and the two guys just approached him while he was inside the SUV. They basically told him to give us all the jewelry and the cash and or you're dead. So uh, he handed over a briefcase, had about $4,000 to $5,000 in cash and jewelry. Uh, they also made him give them their keys so that they wouldn't be able to drive away. Um, nobody was hurt in the incident, but he did uh, try to chase after the guys to see where they were going. He never got to, um, you know, catch up to them about anything. So, yeah, that pretty, um, that sucks. And it was, like, pretty much early. Like, I don't understand how that happens with all those people around, but, yeah. you know. So he's, he's been having, like, a crazy battle with, uh, 
yeah. just drugs and yes, shit the yes, last she two has. years. Yeah. So. Yep. Um, Rock came the God. He sat down for an interview on Double XL magazine and he revealed that he's going to be releasing an anniversary album. Wow. Um, yes, he says, uh, we're working on a couple of albums to put out some of the old music that made me who I am today. Um, he also commented about the relationship he had with Eric B. Um, you know, he says that he's not his enemy, uh, he's not his enemy, but he doesn't speak to him. Um, he just didn't feel, uh, I guess, that he handled everything the right way, that he had left a bitter taste in his mouth. So, um, you know, no beef, but no friendship. Uh, Warner Brothers made a surprise announcement today about who's going to be playing the iconic masked hero Batman in the Man of Steel mashup. What do you guys think about that? Ben Affleck is going to be the Batman. A lot of people are not too happy about that. I I like homie that just did it. But this is going to be a different movie. Like This is going to be with the Man of Steel. So this is going to be like Superman, Mm. Batman. Like It's a whole different thing. Ben Affleck is going to be Batman? Batman. Correct. And why, not, why not? Why not Christian Bale? I don't know, but um, you know, some celebrities were tweeting. So Chris Rock, he said, "I wanted to congr- congratulate Ben Affleck on winning the part of Batman. It was some battle, but he won fair and square." Um, other people, though, um, you know, some fans were not so happy. So they said, "Batman is the new Batman in the Superman mashup." Really, Pee Wee Herman wasn't available. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was one of the stabs that went on Twitter. Dish. Yeah. I'm still, I'm over here flicking up. Big Lou, what up? Look. All right, flick up for Instagram. Oh, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Juicy J um, is obviously the first face that pops up when anybody says twerking um, at all. So Juicy J, he had offered, um, he That's tweeted about boss. offering a fifty thousand dollars scholarship to the best chick that can twerk. Wow. Yeah, um, but what's pretty crazy is that he never released any rules, and he de- ended up deleting all the tweets about it. So I mean, but I don't know. I guess I would twerk for fifty thousand dollars scholarship. Shit, I still owe money to Sally yeah, Mae. I'll twerk. I probably would love to see that. I mean, um, I guess you know. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Marcus, right. this is just the truth, though. I think he probably was fucked up when he said it. Yeah, That's why he, he did. All those yeah, tweets. he just deleted afterwards. <laughs> like, what am I talking about? Yeah. Um, Marcus Polk, a.k.a. Brandy's little brother, Miles, from the 1990 show Moesha. He was arrested and charged with kicking his pregnant girlfriend in the stomach oh, during an oh. argument. The yes, fuck? on August 23rd. The boy with the ears. That's right, the little boy with the ears. He, yes. like he could be Martin Lawrence's his son. girlfriend is a singer named Andy Rocks. She was hospitalized Thursday. Uh, the pair were arguing at a Beverly Hills nightclub in Confidential. They said that after they got home, the argument escalated and Park allegedly punched her in the face. But, I mean, she she stood up for herself, even though that's not that great when you're pregnant, but she actually did hit him and split his lip. So, I mean... How, how many months is she, like... Uh, they actually, they did not say that, but, um, you know, she is pregnant and he kicked her in the stomach, so... That's crazy. That's horrible. That's, that's right. Crazy. He turned himself to the police yesterday, so... So um, Brandy's yes. brother, the little dude, like Yep, Mark Miles, Lawrence. that's right, correct. Burn. Yep, with the big ears. That's crazy. Um, so Lou did talk about uh, Two Chains earlier getting locked up. So he was actually arrested um, in Oklahoma City. They pulled him over approximately like at 12 a.m. this week. Um, they supposedly noticed signs of drug use, but the driver refused to let the cops in without a warrant. So they had this big ordeal. Uh, they eventually arrested 11 people, including Two Chains, for interfering with the police process. Um, so, you know, Two Chains went on Twitter. He, you know, he ranted and raved about, how, like, how, you know, asked the cops if they found any drugs, because supposedly, I guess, they did not find any drugs. So, kudos to you, Two Chains. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, sucks that you got arrested. Yo, yo, they fucking, they fucking let out the driver and they closed the, the whole bus. So what they did was They had to wait for a warrant to tow the bus So they towed the bus to the precinct Mm. Or or wherever um, Local I think it was Precinct or something like that And then from there The judge located and then they opened up the doors And two chains and everybody Just got locked up while they 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 were still in the joint Yeah they were still in the joint You know what I'm saying They didn't want to open up the door That's crazy yo That's crazy Motherfuckers ate that shit wait, by wait. the time. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody take a handful. Like, high yo, as, eat. High as a fuck. Eat. Oh, eat, motherfucker. Chronic ingestion. Motherfucker, like. 
Damn. That's what they were probably just doing, just chilling back and just eating, you know, chilling back and smoking. Be in the yeah. cell, stone like a know. motherfucker. That kind of, uh, that eating chronic is a body high. It has you like. Should have make you throw up after a while. Be like a mummy, like yeah. dumb as fuck. Like that shit's crazy. That's West Coast for you, man. Word up. That's West yeah. Coast. Actually, that, that shit was in Oklahoma. Oklahoma uh, City. Oklahoma City, yeah. yeah. Midwest, yeah. That's okay, so um, Chris Brown, uh, he just can't get out of the media. Uh, he went on Twitter, um, and he, you know, he's got some still harsh feelings about. Obviously, he's getting punished for the Rihanna assault case that happened in 2009. So um, they gave him another thousand hours of community service. Uh, he went well I guess the judge just didn't feel like he was ready so basically you know he went on Twitter and he called the prosecutors racist and even saying that um, you know it's really fucked up Um, he assaulted his ex-girlfriend but he doesn't feel he deserves those hours so um, he went on Twitter and some of his Twitter comments were let me see I'm gonna read these to you Um, it says Family first, the law last. Uh, how about y'all take care of the homeless kids and families on the skid row? Promote helping people that are really fucked up in the city. Niggas done six months community service with police and the DA racist motherfuckers crying to the judge that I don't do it. Fuck the system. I don't give a fuck no more. My hands work just fine. Chris Brown, wow. you're a fucking child. Wow. Grow the fuck up. So even worse, so now even worse than this, I mean, he's actually going to be possibly violating his probation because he, again with Twitter, like he just can't get the fuck off of Twitter. Like somebody needs to delete his account. But basically he goes on Twitter and he blasts Beyonce, threatens Jay-Z, and he claims the blood gang, claims the blood gang. So, yeah, so um, on August 22nd, he claimed Piru is an L.A. large Piru, blood Piru. gang. Piru, right? So it is against his probation to affiliate with gangs. So he insinuated Beyonce copied his moves. And if Jay-Z had a problem with the collab, he didn't care because he is in a gang and his gang will go after him. He is a nutcase. Yo, that's a, um, you know what, though? I, I was looking at him at Summer Jam when I was at Summer Jam. And I love Chris Brown, by the way. Shout out to yeah. Piru's. I went so to we'll Summer Jam. G Gang. Yeah. yeah. But um, I was watching him on the screen because, you know, it's a little distant. You see his He's face crazy. a little clearer. And I was just like, yo, he looks like. like Not skinny, right? But like that look when a motherfucker, like, on them good drugs. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They're not like, good drugs, but you know. Yeah, you know, I'm not trying Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. Part of my slanguage. But when a motherfucker on that good, good, like, they just yes, walk around. He's with, on some other shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That shit looking crazy, yeah. so. I, I never know. heard him talk like that though. That's crazy. He's got some other shit right now. Yes, he needs yeah. to fucking go the fuck up. Yeah, man. Red and blue make green, man. To all the, you know. Mm-hmm. We all in all the right. same game. Stop tripping. Um, Rashida and her husband Kirk Frost. They just welcomed their new baby boy, oh, and his name is Carter. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah, so she, you know, went on Twitter, posted some pictures about her in the hospital, and she, you know, she was about to have the baby. So hopefully, Kirk can be on his best behavior now that the baby's here. Yo, you know, I always, you know, not, you know, off the topic, off the uh, record, but uh, she was always a good girl. Like, she was always good people. I hate seeing her on that show, and I hate that she had to expose, you know, her real life out there like that. But uh, she is a, she's a very, yeah. very good person. Word. Right. Okay. Word. Right. I agree. I agree. Um, so Kanye West finally revealed North's um, picture today on the Chris Jenner show. And everybody is loving the baby. I mean, obviously, everybody knew that the baby was going to be gorgeous. I mean, Kim's gorgeous. Kanye is attractive. The baby is beautiful. So, um, they everybody got to see a glimpse of baby Nori. And everybody loves it. So, yeah. Beautiful um, kid. Real talk. Yes. So, he actually um, was interviewed on the Chris Jenner show um, the other day also. And he just couldn't stop talking about how much he loved uh, Kim Kardashian, you know. And he talked about how people, you know, they questioned him with the whole media thing. Because, you know, he doesn't like the media. So, and she's the total opposite. She's in the media all the time. And she has the whole show and stuff. So, you know, they asked that. And they said, you know, doesn't it damage your credibility as an artist, as a designer, you know. And basically, he just said, I'm, I'm saying, I'm <clears throat> being with this person because, you know, I love this person. He said, she's worth it to me. So, um, she's my joy, 
and she brought my new joy into the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kim didn't just welcome Nori into Kanye's life. She also introduced Kanye, obviously, to her whole entire family, the Kardashian-Jenner, like, big clan, you know. So he also world. feels connected with her because of that because, you know, she he lost his mother. So this is just, like, a whole family feeling for him. So, I mean, I think that's great. I think that's awesome. He's in love with her. And, you know, um... She's a little crazy sometimes though So I'm gonna actually get into a little crazy moment So Kim is in a crazy moment right now So um, they gave a glimpse Of the next episode of Keeping up with the Kardashians And she at the time was pregnant And she asked uh, Their chef if by any chance You know he's ever cooked a Placenta uh, so, uh, The chef actually Says no he's never cooked it but his wife Did eat it so that egged them on even more So she's yeah. like even thinking about eating Placenta I mean Obviously there's supposed to be like some health uh, yeah. Feelings with all of that but I just yeah. I just could never ever 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 just bring myself to trying to eat Placenta Um, Just to give you some information I don't want to say it all the way because I might not be correct but it's a country like maybe let's say Yugoslav or Bulgaria or something I was watching a documentary back in the day where the family meaning the mother father your grandparents your sister brothers uncles come around after the birth of a child they cook it and they all feast and eat Ugh. It was Disgusting. like it's like a ritual in one of these uh, nationalities. Oh. So yeah, so it's supposed to have very uh, a lot of health and and youth and I don't know all this crap or whatever. Next, I can't do it. <laughs> all right. Um, last, we're gonna talk a little bit about, of course, the whole Kendrick Lamar. So um, let's do it. All right. So Raekwon was in a recently in an interview in the It's Biz Kit. So he gave his opinion about it, and you know he. He didn't really say anything too bad about um, Kendrick Lamar. He kind of bigged him up, but he did definitely made it very clear that the king of New York was only B.I.G. Obviously, he's um, dead and R.I.P. to him, but he basically said, quotation, he is in the ground. He gives his respect to him, but, um, you know, no king of New York for you. Now, one of the weirdest, weirdest little um, spurts of somebody coming out of the woodworks i mean yes i don't i don't even know what to say i mean where the hell have you been so where the hell does shine come from (laughs) so he doesn't actually give a diss record um because he actually dropped a song that's called king of ny's um he did this already and he's actually supposed to be having the video come out in september so this is kind of old but what he did now is the video okay this is his response, and I'm going to read it to you word for word. This is a clip before the video begins. This is what it comes out, okay? It says, ain't no other kings in this rap thing. They siblings, soap opera rappers, all of my children. You ain't no king ping. You just fussing, uh, you just busting that ink pen. Snoop got a pass. Ain't no more crushing the buildings. Yeah, I said, I said it. Lamar or Kendrick, new rappers all perish. Blow your brains on the wall. Oh, God, I'm a menace. Bow down, say your prayers. This the Jeed in your presence. End quote. Shine. I don't know what to say about this. Shine. Where the fuck are you? Like, shine. Seriously. Your like, time is done. Yeah, we don't care. Yes, you know your that? time is done. We don't care. The, like, we're the people. These people in this room, you know what I mean? We was the ones that was after your era. Like, you know, yes. the, we don't you, care. You had your time. You had your time. It's over. Don't care, dog. It's over, Shine. The last joint we heard him on, he was trying to rap like Rick Ross. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, who over, cares, it's man? It's over. It's over for you, Shine okay? So, I just wanted to definitely make that clear that it's over Cal, for you. Cal, 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 but I, now that we've established it's over for Shine. I'm right. And we've established that Raekwon had an opinion on, you know, right. the whole thing about the Kings of New York. Um, who do you feel is the King of New York? Mm, it's no one. But so, if we're going to have a King of New York, it has to be Jay. Nobody else. Yeah. You feel you know what Jay? I'm okay. Nobody I would say else. Nas. Nobody I would say else. Nas, but that's a battle. And, and, and Long live the king. I'm on. I'm only. <laughs> Nas is my. You know what I mean? He is one of the kings, but okay. the king. Oh, has that's to okay. Be You're Jay. right. That's your opinion. That's I why I asked you. No, but king, king meaning somebody that brings in that income too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you don't think a whole round. Just a ruler, though. Right. 
The king, the king is the king just standing there pointing. Can I make a, can I make a very valid statement? Because I think I have the most valid statement about the situation that Come probably on. nobody ever thinks about, right? When uh when Nas dropped his first album, we crowned him king. When Big dropped his first joint, we crowned him king. The same thing mm-hmm. with Jay Z. People are making excuses saying that Kendrick is not king right now mm-hmm. because it's only one album. You gotta give him no. time. No, I think he's great. He's the he's he, nobody don't want he's it with the Kendrick. Shit. Nobody I want love it with Kendrick. Kendrick. I nobody think he's awesome. Kendrick. Nobody. Joella T smashed them though. Yeah, but nobody cares. But I, you know what I, I mean? love like, I love Kendrick. I love I love Joel. I love Slaughterhouse, Joe Buttons, all these cats. Mm-hmm. But they're irrelevant in his in his playing field. They don't exist. Yeah, now. You know yeah. what I mean? They don't exist. So what I was mad about. But it's okay to let somebody know that, like, you know, he's he's definitely laughing at the end because he's got the yeah. most money. But it's still cool to be able to be like, yeah, you're the shit. But guess what? I'm going to put you in your place real quick yeah. and just let you know that if you were going to go pound for pound, I would shit on you. And that's basically what happened. So it's cool because it wake up the whole rap game. And I think really these niggas, you know what I mean? I, I, I had this this conversation with the young boy. Like the rap game, it, it, it was two lanes. It was East and West Coast say, per se. They fucking split the fucking river open like Moses with the Red Sea and let Kendrick walk in the game. And everybody had... Nothing but positive things to say. Nobody had nothing negative to say about Kendrick. It wasn't just because they loved him. because it, it was they were scared of him. Mm-hmm. The nigga's a fucking menace. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So now that he says something to ruffle y'all feathers, because he's probably bored with it. Exactly. And I really think that at the end of the day, he's just going to be on some shit like, oh, I was just fucking with niggas anyway. Yes. But the fact that, you know, Pat Bruce I mean, is doing did. a rebuttal. He said it. Yeah, like, I don't... He said, I, I got love for y'all yeah. niggas. I just letting you know there's a competition. Well, to me, he, he respected. He said Kendrick, Jay-Z, and... And Nas. He, re- Nas. He, he disrespected everybody else in the game. Well, no, he said, and Eminem and all you other niggas. No, did you read what he said? Because he didn't pay homage to them niggas. No. He said those niggas' names and then added on to the young yeah. motherfuckers. Like, y'all niggas ain't seeing me, basically. That's yeah. the reason why M made his rebuttal. Yeah. Which I haven't listened to. I would love to hear it. Oh, wow. You have to listen to it. It's I didn't dope. even know he did it. Yes, you know it's saying? dope. It's dope. Fact, we're going to listen to it right after the show. Okay, awesome. we're going to listen to it right now after the but, show. Um, so definitely, because that was a dope one. But I have to say, though, although I love Eminem's, of course, Slim Shady, he is the master and everything. But again, I'm going to give it to them based on this one response, not based on history. Joel Ortiz took the fucking thing. He just smashed them. Yeah. There's nobody fucking with that shit. Yo. And, he and came out and just, that's it. He ate I him will, up. I will say, you know what I mean? Respect to. Ate him up. Respect to those who. Hungry. Who, who've, who've, you know, came and, and the passed end of away. The sport. But Joel is, he's my favorite. He said he's rapper, slapping favorite. legends. I'm the way out that bitch. If, if you heard, if you heard Joel. Throw tomato at you whack ass <laughs> rappers. <laughs> if you follow Joel, you know that he's a problem. He is a problem. He's a problem. But, you know, people who. He said throw tomatoes at you whack ass awards that you rappers get. <laughs> That's crazy. And he knows as long as he stays in that zone, he's going to be who he is. Like, yes. And I people, love that about him. Yeah. Come on. I mean, it's okay that, I mean, some of the best rappers, we can all say, like, in my opinion, ain't the ones who sold the most records. Word. I mean, Word. like, you know, I love the locks. I love, um, again, Nas. Nas didn't sell all Word. the best. The, I mean, he did make money, though. Nas yeah, is, is official. But, I mean, he... If so, there's people, other people that probably sold more records than him, but I still think it definitely, he's the best. it definitely, the best don't have nothing to do with record sales. No, you know what I'm saying. And and going back to what I said it about just takes somebody to recognize them. Or what I said about Jay being the king of NY, like nobody, nobody has ever. Jay is the king of rap. Period. If Michael Jackson was the king of pop, Jay, right, so I'm not gonna say Jay Z ain't gonna be the mm-hmm. king of New York. Okay. He's the king of rap. Yeah. Okay. There is none higher. Like. Okay. He is Obama True. of hip hop. Like he okay. did what no nigga in rap ever did. This okay. motherfucker like money retarded. He became man. corporate. Way yeah. corporate. Yeah, he became corporate. And still making music. That's right. So. But, but I have to say Brian though, Diddy is killing him right now because yeah. of the whole Ciroc. The Ciroc thing is murdering the world right now because everybody <laughs> is drinking it. Thank yeah. shout out to um, you know, Chris and Lighty again because they brought some Ciroc. I was drinking Ciroc tonight. But I really want to try the amaretto. I have not tried the amaretto yet. I want to try it. I have to try that. I mean, I've heard it tastes good with um, orange juice, but I definitely want to try it with Coke. Uh, 
Coke? What do you say? What do you say, Coke? Okay, what do you say? Amaretto with what? Straight. Straight? Okay. I mean, I heard as a drink, though. I heard orange juice tastes good. For a drink, I would drink still me with pineapple. Pineapple, okay. You know what amaretto with pineapple? Ciroc Amaretto. I have to try it. I have to get to a uh, liquor store and buy yeah, a bottle. We need to do that, you know. Yeah, so. After this. <laughs> you know yeah. So, on that yeah. note, yeah. that's it. Five hours of entertainment. Are you not entertained? Three years. MME Radio, motherfuckers. Three years. It's a celebration, bitches. See you after the first. Vacation's over. Playtime's over. That's right. We'll be back, motherfuckers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming through. Back. Back. Shout out to Cyber, the whole Indie Republic, because without Indie Republic, none of this would be possible. Shout out to every motherfucker that ever, 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 ever Mm -hmm. tuned in and watched us and supported us. Yep. Shout out to Flacco, the MME, uh, the CEO. CEO of MME. Yes, yes, because without him, none of this would be posi- that's possible. That's right. Either. Shout yes. out to Flacco. Shout out to Jersey Pump. That's right. Um, Zenos holding a bottle currently in his hand. For more info, um, log on to www.jerseypump.com. Uh, spect- if you're not a spectator, you're what? Say this again, Lou. You're not a spect- um, Are you a gladiator? You're a spectator. That's right. You're a gladiator or a spectator. So you got to yep. be a gladiator. Shout out to all the fans, all the cities, all the countries, all the supporters. Definitely, all the, yo. All, all the, the different artists, states. All the business all owners, all the entrepreneurs. Um, yeah. Everybody showed love. Everybody just came through and showed love. Either to come watch the show or, or be a part or promote it or retweet it. Mm-hmm. Whatever. This like. was an awesome night. Yeah, it definitely was. Um, shout out to everybody, man. Yeah. Like I said, in the Republic. Shout Thank out to Sage and so Tyler, the whole coming. HBM Radio, the whole Indie Republic family. Shout out to Miss Miss LB, uh, L. Wright, um, Master Will. Will. Yeah, Master Lady Will. Tronics. Lady Tronics. What up, though? Um, uh, Steve, uh, Rico. Uh, D Nice. DV, D Nice. Um, Paula. The warehouse, the warehouse. Yep. all the DJs that ever, ever, uh, you know, ever touched these turntables over here. I must say that y'all, y'all have always had like the dopest DJs every time. Any show I've tuned in, man, yeah. Niggas coming Thank you. Go shut. Yeah. Um, it was a good time, man. Because last DJ we had before that was Ted Smooth. Mm. Yeah. Up in here, I think that was the last DJ this month. Yeah, yeah, do remember. <laughs> So, um, on that note, uh, awesome. peace nice. and love. Uh, shout out to my co host, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's it. Get your magnum numbers years. up. See you. Condoms. First of September. Be safe that's out dope. there. That's peace dope. and love. We love you.